Hey everyone, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we'll try to solve lead code problem. Which one is it? 1365. So where we have to find like how many numbers are smaller than the current number. So we have been given an array of nums for where we have to find how many numbers in the array are smaller than that current number. So in this case, here we have got an array 81223 and we got the output 40113 and how did we got this because it says uh, at the zero index which is 8 it wants to know how many numbers are smaller than 8 so you can clearly see 1 2 2 and this 3 so 4 numbers are smaller than 8 so you want to return that how many numbers so total 4 numbers so you want to return 4 here then when you go to the next index this one it want to know how many numbers are smaller than one. So you clearly see all the numbers are greater than one, including the one. So you want to put zero here. Next, you go on this uh, number two, integer two, and then you see how many numbers are smaller than two, just smaller, not even equals. So you see, yeah, one, this one is smaller. Then you put one here, same goes for this two. Then you see how many numbers are smaller than three. You see, okay, one, two, and two. So total three numbers are smaller than three. So you output like this three here. That's pretty much it. And the same examples here. Um, this would be a good example. Seven, 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 seven. Uh, none of the numbers are smaller than any of them. So you'll return zero in each of the case. Now you need to implement a logic. That's, and I explained you how the problem is. What do we need to do? Now what, how can we solve it? So what do we want? We, we want to, run a loop right so you can run a for loop then what do you want we want to we want to store we want to store um so we want to store the count right of how many numbers are smaller count uh, of numbers numbers smaller smaller than numbers which are smaller than the current number right and what do you want we want the output array uh, output array and push that count in that output array i hope you got the idea what i'm trying to say here so uh, if that's what we need to do actually because we have got the input and output here this so you need basically you need to run two for loops for sure because first for loop to keep track of this number and second for loop to basically uh, go through all of them and just compare if it's greater or smaller easy uh, and we can solve it so what i'll try to do here is i'll solve it you can follow me so what i'll do okay i'll define a variable output what is this this is the array which i'll return at the end this one it's zero empty at the beginning now what i want i want a for loop for variable i equals zero i want i should be less than nums the array dot length yeah and i want to increase it by i plus plus now what do i want is i i would run again a for loop here right to compare it because i want to compare two numbers right this to this then this to this so yeah so you will put for variable j equals zero j should be less than nums dot length and j plus plus easy okay now what do i want now i want to compare so i want to compare if nums at i right if nums at i if it's greater than nums at j like if this 8 is greater than this j and uh, this is a for loop so it will go to this 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 and if this is greater than any of this then what do i want is i want to put a if condition and i want to make a variable here count so i'll make a variable count here which will be zero in the beginning and why it's zero because every time i'll tell you why so we'll put count equals to count plus one now what happens here this eight is here right and it says okay is eight greater than one yes sir yeah it is greater then what do you do you increase count by one so count is one then it says okay um what about this one is it greater than one no then don't do anything two is it greater than 
um, about this two. Is eight greater than two? Yes. Increase by one, so count is two. Eight greater than two? Yes. Is eight greater than three? Yes. So count is four. So what do we want after this? I want to. I want to. What I want to do is after this statement, not here, because this for loop is ending here, right? After this for loop ends, what do we want? We want to say that take this output array and push that count inside that and as soon as you push this that's gonna be this for loop is gonna increase right i this i is gonna be one and when this i is gonna be one i want to start the whole like this process from beginning i want don't want to use the count from previous one so that's why you define the variable count here as zero so for every integer like one when when we are we are done with this eight, then when we go finally to this one, we want count to be zero again. So you know, so we can uh, again start it and uh, not get the previous value which was four here. That's why you initialize it as zero here. And as soon as this is done, what I want is I want to return output array, and that's it. So see, we got the answer and uh, yeah, we got good solution and everything. So uh, I'll, I'll explain you again, why did we put this variable count equals zero here? Because if you wouldn't put it here and if you put somewhere else, then you know, when you'll try to compare if this, uh, when you'll try to compare this one with all of these, then you would still have the previous value of this one, which was four. So this would be four and this would be five and this would be five. This would be eight, like yeah, seven, eight or nine something. But basically, yeah, to get the new value and start it again, we did this. That's it. I think it's one of it's you won't find any easier solution than this one. And that's it. Uh, if you like how I explain videos and if if I help you in any way and if you think lead code is hard, just follow my lead code series. I am literally trying to explain from easiest to and then I'm going slowly slowly hard uh, in the easy section we are getting it uh, increasing the efficiency and then yeah you'll, you'll get it just just try to see my videos and follow through it and if you like how I teach just subscribe my videos uh, subscribe my channel like my videos share comment you know that's it thank you